What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my number one most requested nail art video of all time. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the water marbling technique. And I'm sure you've seen it before, but my video is going to be showing you guys how to do it the simplest way possible for all of you out there that are going to be trying it at home. And I'm also going to be giving you a few of my own tips to make it even easier for you guys. So if you want to learn how to do this design, then just keep watching. So you want to begin with your cup of water. You want to make sure the water is completely room temperature. And then you want to pick out your polish colors. So I'm going with purple. So I have this one from OPI and this is called Do You Have This Color in Stockholm? Then I have a dark purple from China Glaze and this one is called Ecstasy. And then I have a medium pink polish. It's called Make an Entrance from China Glaze. And then the last one I have, just to switch it up a little bit, is Alpine Snow, which is a white from OPI. The next thing you want to have is your cleanup brush because it gets a little messy. And I just have this dish to put my acetone into. And then you just need your toothpick and your top coat. So starting with each individual polish, you just want to drop one drop onto the surface of the water. And if your water is the perfect temperature, then you will see it'll do what I'm doing right now. It'll disperse pretty evenly on just the surface of the water. I'm just going in a pattern using every single one of my colors. You guys can use as many or as little colors as you want. I would definitely use at least three. That's just my opinion for the pattern to look its best, but it's really up to you. And I'm just going in and doing them all about two times. And you can keep going. Um, you don't want to do it too long because the polish will start to dry on the top of the surface. So you kind of want to do this pretty quickly, I would say. Then you want to get your toothpick and you want to swirl whatever your desired design is. I'm just doing a random swirling thing going on right now. Um, yeah, just getting it exactly how I want it. And you want to do this pretty quickly as well because the polish starts to dry. I'm taking the naked nail and dipping it gently into the water and right now you want to start blowing. Since the nail is in there, you want to start blowing to make all of the excess polish dried up so that it doesn't get all over your finger. Now what you do is take your toothpick and you just gather up all of the excess. This just makes sure that you don't get any more all over your hands. So now that you have a mess, but you have a pretty cool looking nail, you want to take your cleanup brush and your acetone or your nail polish remover and just clean up around the edges of the nails. I like to use acetone for this part just because it makes it go by much, much quicker. Then I'm going to follow up with my quick dry top coat just to seal in the design and you're completely done. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and if you want to see more nail art tutorials in the future. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.